Hello dear students, welcome to session 4. In this session 4 we will not do any study. We will just do the practical sessions. That will be very interesting for you. That practical session of the MS Word activity that is given on the page number 20 in your book. In this activity we have to make a page in the MS Word just like that where the character is written in the uh, in the middle and after it some paragraph is written and we have to do some settings of this paragraph. In this activity I will tell you about how to set the margins, how we can change the font color, how we can do the alignment settings, how you can add the word art in this, how you can insert any picture in your MS Word document. Now this is the activity. You can see this activity on page number 20. Now I will do this activity on my laptop and step by steps you can follow it and you can also perform this activity on your laptop also. So let's come with me this practical session. Today we will do this activity that is given that is uh, that is given here after your chapter second. This is a Microsoft Word activity that is just simple activity as we have to type but we have to set up ma many settings. I think you have a knowledge of it but if you don't know about this then that, that points will be clear out here. So please for, a, for enjoying today we will not do the study we will just do this activity. So let's start our activity. Firstly open the Microsoft Word in your laptops uh, I I will make uh, I will also do this activity with you a uh, side by side you can see me and you can follow this activity step by step so firstly we will open the Microsoft Word now let's start our activity this is the desktop of your laptop go here and now go on Microsoft Word, click on Microsoft Office here. Now go to Microsoft Word. Now this is open here. Now here we have to write down the paragraph and we have to follow the points which, is, which are given in this activity one by one and we will set up our page according to that. In the first line it is written open the word 2010 yeah, whatever my operating system is in your computer. I am having Windows 7. If you have Windows 10 then it will say open the Windows 10. Microsoft Word 2010. Now it is Microsoft Word 2007 because the Windows 7 operating system is installed in my computer. Now the second point in your activity is set the margins 1.25 from all sides and line spacing to double and type the given text. Firstly, I will type the given text as it given into your this paragraph that is character paragraph. So I am writing here the character paragraph. Now I have already lit, written this paragraph on this page. You can, we have to simply type it. Now we will do all the settings one by one. Now first setting is set up the page margin 1.25 inch from all the sides and line spacing to double. Firstly, for setting, go here on the page layout. Here is the margin is there. Click on this. Many inbuilt margins are shown here. If you want the normal then the top side, top, bottom, left and right margins are 1, 1 inch. If you select the narrow margin, then top, bottom, left and right, it is 0.55 inch. Similarly, moderate, similarly wide, mirrored, many margins are there. If you want to select from here, you can directly select from here. But if you want to set up your own margins, then we will go here on the custom margin. Click on this custom margins now there are the top left bottom and right margins are there 
the margin which is given to us that should be 1.25 inch from all the sides now backspace it and write down 1.25 inch double traces similarly write down here 1.25 inch similarly on the left hand side 1.25 inch the on the right hand side 1.25 inch now we have settled all the margins left right top and bottom now click on here that is okay and that margin will be settled down okay now you can see on your ruler here this is 1.25 from here this is also a 1.25 from here and from here also so from all the side left top right and bottom this margin is settled down up to 1.25 inch you can so for this you have to go to page layout and then go to this margin and then go to this custom margin by going by following this these steps you can set up your margins now we have to set up the line spacing that is double line spacing click on home this button in go to the paragraph group this is for the line spacing by default the line spacing is one single and we have to make it double this in this paragraph we want to make all these settings so firstly select this paragraph select this paragraph and go here on this line spacing that is here that is up to 2 whenever I will click on this 2 you can see the changes just see all the lines are spaced by doubled the line spacing is now doubled in each line now we will format this page the font size is very low at the last point in our activity it is given that set the font size up to 14 so go to the here this is for the font size click here and we will set up the font size to 14 and we also want I also want the to change the font face also so go there and I want generally we use the Time New Romans in all the documents A4 sheet documents when you see most of the fonts used is Times New Roman so I am also selecting it's Times New Roman on my paragraph I have selected Times New Roman now my whole paragraph is in the Times New Roman font font face and font size is 14 now it is changed now it is given that the num name of this paragraph character that should be centrally aligned so I am selecting this and go in the paragraph button and this is this is for the left this is for the center this is for the right side and this is for the justify firstly we have to make it center select this character and just click on the center point now the character is centrally aligned and we want to change the color of this character that should be red color and it should be bold firstly we will make it bold now character you can see the changes character is bold now now I will make I will make change the color of this this is used for changing the color font color that should be right now selected this <coughs> go to font color 
which color you want you can choose red color click on it now you can see that the character is now in the red color if you choose blue that is in the blue color if you choose purple it is in the blue purple color yellow it is in the yellow green it is in the green color so according to your wish you can change the color now the color of this character is changed now we will select this paragraph and we will now we have selected this paragraph now we will justify it that is we will align it if you want it this is automatically by default this paragraph is aligned at the left side if i will align it at the right side just see the changes now it is on the right side if i will align it center now it is centered aligned but generally for the if we want to write the paragraph on the a4 sheet we make it as justify justify means it will be rightly aligned equal aligned on the left hand side and on the right hand side so by so most of the time we uses this justify alignment click on this justify alignment in the paragraph group and see the changes now now you can see the paragraph is looking much better now this paragraph is its page margin is set now its color is set now its alignment is settled down now one thing that is given and line spacing we have already settled down up to double now one thing it is given in the second point in your activity does apply heading one style to the title character so this title care click on this character sorry now it is selected and it will be its style will be heading one style now from where we can choose the style this is the style paragraph this is normal which we have already chosen that is no spacing this is now this is heading one now we will choose this character setting heading one what happened to it it should be central aligned its color should be red and its style should be heading 1 <coughs> now now this character name setting is that should be centered align that should be red in color and that should be of the heading one styles so we have done we have done we have done settings of all these three and page margins we have set uh, settled down and the line spacing we have given it is doubled now we want to apply uh, now here it is given the apply the border to this paragraph here to this page how we can apply the border to them now for border go in insert tab click on this and where is the border just find out page number header footer sorry page layout because we have we want to give the border to the page then so go in the page layout then go 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 page background here is the page border click on this page border now choose the line color color and the width of the border this is the style you can change the style of the border from here now the color of the border you can choose and width you can choose from here how much width you want and if you want some artistic background you can also choose from here this one suppose I choose this one this star I am choosing so I have then settings of all these things border style border color border width border border art now apply we are applied to the whole document and if you want to apply only a paragraph then you can select your paragraph and apply to only paragraph here as you can write down now click on this ok and see the changes in your 
page here now this border is here on your page and font text color we have already we are sorry text size font size we have already settled down up to 14 now one thing it is left that is apply word art style on this first word character now select this character sorry select this character go to insert tab now here is word art word art style in which style you want that character should be written i have choose chosen this style word art style now this character yes okay i am clicking on this okay button now you can see now the character is looking like this that is going click on here now this now this character i will align it again centered align now you can see the changes here now this character is written like this by choosing a word art by going in insert tab like this there is insert tab we have chosen this when you click on this paragraph some other options will also come double click on this this is a different style you can also choose the style of you can change the shape of this you can see in the background the shape is changing i have selected this shape Mm, I'm selecting this sh this shape now by going here change shape click and see the change now the character in that this shape so we have done all the setting on this page now this is your page that is just like uh, how it is looking it is looking very nice and you can also do all these things you can also apply all these things on your paper on your page in the word art you can do the printing like this one thing it is left that is given in your activity that insert an picture online picture yeah inbuilt picture we can also insert here how we can insert the picture go insert now go in picture now these pictures are in my pc i will search many more pictures will also be there mm, this one Suppose I am insert, inserting this picture, desert picture, penguins picture, I am inserting this penguin picture, click on it, insert here. Now this picture is inserted here and it has covered my whole paragraph. Now I am making a setting of it. You can see. Firstly, I'm making it small by clicking on it. This. Now it is here. And I want to move that picture. Then go it. Right click on it. Then go to text wrapping. Text wrapping. And I want to move that picture behind text type scare. Whatever type you want to move it, you can choose from here. I am choosing top and bottom. Now I am moving it here. Now this picture is coming. Here. At the right bottom now this is my page 
in this we have done many things we have done we have changed the font size we have changed the font we have set the page margin we have set the font color we have aligned it into the centrally justified and the left and right right alignment i have chosen the style heading one also giving the border also and word art we have used the word art style also inserting we have insert a picture also in this page so all these things we have done in this activity and i think now you are able to make this type you are able to make this type of page that is very creative and i think you will enjoy this session now thank you and if you have any problem if you are facing any issues regarding this activity you can call me anytime welcome dear students thank you and have a nice day